Hello and welcome back to my videos about Python and Flask. In this video I'll explain how you can use the post request so you can update your data on a single employee. So let's beginning down and we want still the, the employees down here. We need to copy this because we're working with the, a single employee. And perfect. And we will add the methods. Methods here is equal to post and down here we want to set up the employees. Employee, that's fine. And we want to say int uh, ID, sorry. And then we want to to starting our application down here. First, we want to the request data is equal to request. JSON data, get JSON data, sorry. And then you want to say the new employee is equal to have a name. And we have um, an area, and then we have an ID. That's how we're doing it. And you can go down here because the ID is the ID we want to change, so that will be the same. And now we want to check about the ID exists or not, so we will make a for loop. Inside this for loop, we will let we will call the employee employees and call it employee and go to the next step here. So if the employee employee is equal to ID, and then we want to change it, and we want to know which key we're working on, so we will do it here. I is equal to plus equal to one. Every time the loop is running, it will increment the I with one, and I would say employees i is equal to the employees and that's the issue one and of course we want to say it's changed true and false as default it's false so if it's going inside here I would say it's true and then we want to return response what we learned from the last uh, video and then the status the status should be true or false if it's true else it's 400 and false as says it's not found let's rerun our application here and what we do here is just create a new one and say the body should be raw and it's a JSON and we just copy this employees and say we need to change number three and what we want to change is the name from Paris to uh, just say Paris Nikita that's fine and the area in this case I want to move to Germany and it's a post request, so let's see how it's react. You can see we get no content and it succeeds. If I'm going down here to say nine, I know this does not exist. So it should be in a bad request, not found. So that's perfect. The problem now will be if we do it this way. Oops, the wrong one. And say test p is equal to demo then this one would be get inside the data and after I have editing it I want to redirect so we make a little change here I'll say if the change is true then return redirect to employees Um, with the, the 
ID should be um, the ID here. And then we should have the right one, else it should be like it's uh, up here. Straight is 412. Let's rerun this and and send this one. You can see it's up here. It's working very well because we have it up here about the name and the area. But that's mean the key number three should have nothing. And we have a little error here. And that's it because we have the employee out of the scope, so we need to put in in the scope. Use global, and then we need employees here. And if I restart again, then it should it should empty my name here, and it's dozens of something still wrong. Let the employees this one what I want. And we have it here. Now it's empty. So I need the right data up here. So I need to say name and the area. Restart again and run it. So now Akita Kaiser. Just Nikita, sorry. And then uh, the area should be Germany. That's working pretty well. The next one we want to do is the validation. So we create, we can uh, create this one. Validation and post data. And I would say put data, sorry. And then I will go down here and place the validation. And post data here. So if if this is uh, true, go in the inside here and try to change anything. And we put the request data inside and say post data data object. And if it's wrong, I will return a bad request. Out of here because something is wrong. And what we want to validate up here, it's just the name and the area, and we don't care about the ID because the ID is the client. So do this again and remove the area. This should give an error and bad request, yes. And if we go up here and change to nine. It should be not found. That's correct. And if I go in down to three, then we get the right data down here. So that's how you can use the post data down here and how you can validate and return different status codes. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you, if you have any questions, please make the comments below. below. And if you want to subscribe my channel, you can press the thing on the right corner. Thank you so much for your time. And I really hope you want to like this video and share it with your friends so you can share my videos. Thank you for your time, one more time, and thank you for subscribing. See you next time.